Yo what's up guys Pierre Andre is back Alright hari ni aku baru je create satu YouTube channel baru aku Iaitu Pierre Andre Vlog Di mana aku akan vlog tentang kehidupan harian aku So kalau korang berminat nak tahu Jangan lupa subscribe guys Alright ciao What's up guys, Pierre Andre is back Alright, Assalamualaikum and salam jatuh pada korang yang menonton channel Andre Brothers Korang semua memang awesome guys Yes, kali ni kita kembali lagi dengan video react kita uh, Seperti yang korang tahu Video react uh, yang kita buat ni of course Video-video yang telah dikompilkan oleh YouTubers-YouTubers yang ada kat luar sana Kalau last video kita dah check sebuah video uh, daripada YouTubers Indonesia tak silap aku Kamal Hor so untuk kali ni kita akan kembali balik kepada uh, channel favorite aku iaitu channel Nooks Top 5 so mana antara korang yang belum subscribe subscribe dulu channel Nooks Top 5 uh, dan jangan lupa subscribe channel Andre Brothers ok itu wajib sebab subscribe tu percuma je guys so yes tanpa melengahkan masa lagi aku rasa lebih baik kita straight forward dengan kita punya video yang menyeramkan so sebelum uh, kita nak start adakah korang dalam keadaan yang sihat kalau sihat good Alhamdulillah syukur kita kepada Allah kita kena banyak-banyak bersyukur ok so kita terus straight forward lah guys aku tak nak lengah-lengahkan masa lagi pun ni pun dah lewat malam takut so are you ready? jom check it out About a month ago, I featured a video from a YouTube urban exploration channel called Finders Beepers History Seekers. The really compelling thing about their creepy video was that the two hosts, Matt and Andy, are definitely not ghost hunters. In fact, they're complete skeptics. They simply caught a very strange occurrence during one of their urban explorations. Hello. Guys, apa benda tu? Oh, ini video sebelum ni. Okey, video ni aku tak pernah tengok. Oh, serius yang tadi tu scary, guys. But there's one more very strange urban exploration video that the Finders Beepers guys recorded all the way back in 2017. A video that they were never able to explain. So, the Finders Beepers guys are exploring a long-abandoned historic farm in Doncaster, England that is estimated to have been built sometime in the 1800s. Local legend says that the previous owner of the land allegedly took his own life by tying a rope around a solid beam inside one of the buildings. In the Finders Beepers video, it's clear that the two friends are pretty carefree and having a good time while exploring the empty farm. So... <laughs> Andy has literally just almost died. I'm just going to carry on filming you a minute, just because I have a feeling you're going to fall. And I want to get get you on you being framed. Doesn't really matter to me. No one, no one. Go on, go on, go on. Just, just to show you where he would have fallen. Ooh. Oh, Andy, I can see something good already. It's our good old favourite. It's the cellar. I think it's, uh, it's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze down here. Only for you, Paul. <laughs> And I do apologise, viewers, if you get to see my arse for about the millionth time. Oh, it's become a regular occurrence. Uh, a bit of a celebrity, I think, got arse now, Matt, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Can sense that, guys? Now, after Matt and Andy 
uploaded the video of their new exploration to their YouTube channel, it was no longer a joking matter. They were shocked by the comments from many concerned viewers. Because you see, someone or something at the abandoned farm seems to have been watching them. Something they didn't see. Watch the footage closely. We've uh, just made our way back down there, back through the the beans, where all the pan tiles are. Uh, I'm going to quickly show Andy the um, the kestrel, and then we'll make our way around. There's some massive build. There should have been some massive buildings up that that side, but so yeah, it's just a bit further up there. It's. Uh... Did you see it? The two friends are completely unaware as something seems to be staring <gasps> at them from inside a room in the crumbling farmhouse. The figure appears to be wearing a dark suit and its face is just a featureless black blur. A little later, Guys, Mary actually the actually explore the same area where the dark figure was seen, but there's no one there. However, when they come back out, their footage shows something absolutely chilling. Uh, more and more guys, come back, guys. The mysterious faceless apparition of a man seems to have somehow now moved to where Man and Andy had just been standing only minutes before. Again, it seems to watch the two unsuspecting explorers from afar. The guys claimed that they had no idea that they were being watched and didn't see anyone at the time of the recording. Hmm. Let me say again that both Matt and Andy are skeptics when it comes to the paranormal. In fact, Andy flat out says that he just doesn't believe in ghosts. But, they say that this creepy event has quote, freaked us out a bit. So what do you think the Finders Beepers guys captured on camera? Could it be the spirit of the previous owner who allegedly took his own life at the farm? Or could it be some mysterious lurker? Without a face. Let me know what you think. You can watch this full video and others over on Matt and Andy's Urban Exploration Channel, Finders Beepers, History Seekers. The Curse. Okay guys. Mamat dua orang ni, seperti yang dikatakan, dia orang ni bukan ghost hunter tau guys. Jadi dia orang ni adalah jenis orang manusia yang tak mempercayai hantu. So, kita tahu dia punya uh, video dia, dia bukan pergi ke tempat untuk mencari hantu dia orang ni lebih kepada macam tempat-tempat yang bersejarah lah mungkin seperti yang pemahaman aku dan yang menakutkan tu guys pasal apa dia orang sendiri pun tak sedar yang ada sesuatu makhluk yang sedang bersama dia orang memang scary kalau kau tengok balik footage tu benda tu macam berdiri dan muka dia tak nampak pasal memang dalam keadaan gelap kan so kalau kau tanya aku agak menyeramkan aku, aku tak tahu adakah video tadi real atau tidak tapi kalau ikut aku punya firasat mungkin betul uh, sebab diorang ni bukan jenis nampak macam budak-budak yang suka buat prank dan semacam tu uh, aku rasa mungkin video tu real kalau ia real itu satu image yang menakutkan pada pendapat aku so apa pendapat korang komen kat bawah so kita go next video ok Russian ghost hunter Tim Marazov travels deep into the secluded Russian countryside to investigate an abandoned house that is said to have been cursed by an evil witch. In his video, Tim tells the story of two mushroom pickers who were wandering the countryside one day and stumbled upon the completely boarded up house. They heard loud sounds coming from inside and worried that someone might be in danger, they smashed their way inside. They were shocked when they were greeted by a strange dark shadow enveloped by a thick fog. They ran from the house. Tim says the couple later contacted him to investigate the creepy home. Upon entering the empty and decaying house, strange things immediately begin to happen. Ada benda gerak tu guys. Uh, semua macam bagian lampu kat atas semua bergerak. Uh oh Nampak macam kabus eh So 
some on the тарелка упасть точно не могла фонарик у меня на столе был кровать заправлял упала тарелка не знаю как она могла упасть в принципе никакая крыса никакая мышь ее толкнуть не могла и в темноте я ну, дышал и увидел пар не знаю, было ли видно это на камеру. After light bulbs start swinging on their own and a plate suddenly falls onto the floor, Tim explains he saw strange fog or mist, which sounds eerily similar to what the mushroom picking couple had reported. Tim is a little on edge, but decides to lay down on the bed and rest in the darkness while all of his devices and camera equipment are turned on and recording. What happens next is just truly bizarre. Mm. Oh, Suda. What are experiences strange high frequency feedback and then all of a sudden the Polaroid camera that he brought with him on the investigation suddenly snaps a photo all on its own but what makes this footage even stranger is something you perhaps didn't see at first so I have to ask did you see it as Tim is lying on the bed a creepy looking hand comes from the ceiling as if to grab him Right before the hand reaches him, the Polaroid camera snaps a photo and the hand disappears. Tim has no idea what he just captured, but is baffled either way by the strange Polaroid snapshot. Trying to explain the incident to himself, he says that the Polaroid could have possibly just malfunctioned because of the intense humidity inside the house. But then things get stranger and even more terrifying. Не знаю, друзья, может быть просто из-за сырости в этом доме. Что-то у нее замкнуло. Кай! Viu uma pintura! shadow figure trying to open the door by moving the door handle. It then once again disappears into thin air. Tim carefully checks out the door and looks inside the room on the other side, but there's just no one there. A week goes by and after reviewing all of the chilling evidence he captured on camera, he returns to the cursed abandoned house once more. Tim soon realizes that he might have made a huge mistake. Guys, we have a tourney.
там. Ты кто? Ответь. Кто ты? Guys, tim ni dia ni aku rasa salah seorang orang yang memang ada hati yang kental untuk pergi seorang-seorang tempat macam tu dan memang aku tak nafikan tempat tu nampak memang menakutkan dia semacam rumah yang telah ditinggalkan dan dia pergi dia pergi dua kali mula pun the first time dia pergi dia dapat capture sesuatu yang menakutkan dan dia tak puas hati dia pergi kali kedua kali kedua tu agak teruk juga gangguan yang dia dapat apa pendapat korang adakah video tadi real atau fake uh, korang komen kat bawah aku nak dengar so kita go next video ok 
Paranormal Investigators Matt Benton from the YouTube channel Devil's Hour Productions and Dante Reeder from the channel Soul Seekers investigate the mysterious haunting of the Mackey Mansion in Virginia City, Nevada. The mansion was built in 1859 by the infamous Hearst family and is one of the only remaining historical structures to have survived two major fires in Virginia City. The Victorian building was later owned by silver mining millionaire John Mackey, after whom the building is named. At the beginning of the evening, investigator Dante and guest Violet head off to a nearby cemetery, leaving Matt from Devil's Hour Productions all alone inside the mansion. As he is doing a preliminary check of the house, Matt starts to get some very unexpected activity. Enjoy. Matt decides to do a spirit box session, and he's descending the mansion staircase when he captures something very disturbing. Matt says he could see something out of the corner of his eye, and upon reviewing his footage, he discovers that he captured a partial apparition. Now it's a little hard to see as the camera unexplainably loses focus just as Matt captures the apparition. But when the clip is slowed down, you can clearly see some kind of figure quickly moving out of sight just as Matt turns the corner at the bottom of the stairs. Even more bizarre, whatever this is seems to disappear right into the solid wall at the side of the staircase. Later in the evening, Matt, Dante, and Violet conduct a spirit box session upstairs in what used to be John Mackey's bedroom. And then, this happens. What we all just heard was a loud bang right behind Dante. And when we looked in the direction to where we heard the bang, we all realized the wardrobe was partially open. Before the bang even happened, the wardrobe was completely closed. I even checked inside to see if I could debunk the wardrobe opening all by itself, but I didn't see anything that could make that happen. Less than one minute after the bang happens, we capture a shadow figure on the right side of the screen. It is hard to see, so look very closely. Matt from Devil's Hour Productions wants to push the investigation even further. He decides to sit down on John Mackey's bed in hopes of invoking Mackey's ghost. It did not go well. Huh? I'm laying in your bed. Mr. Mackey, you're gonna have to show him. He's laying in your bed, you're gonna have to show him. You're the boss. Oh, there's something hot on my back, man. Yeah. Something's hot on my back. It's on this side, don't even tell me. Yep, you got one. Oh god. Don't even tell me, man. Ooh. Ooh, gonna check that guy. taunting John Mackey's spirit, it is actually Dante who receives a large scratch on his back. So did Matt from Devil's Hour Productions provoke the spirit of whomever or whatever is haunting the Mackey Mansion? Did the group capture evidence of John Mackey's spirit still roaming his beloved estate? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. You can check out this full video and more investigations over on the YouTube channel, Devil's Hour Productions. Okay guys, untuk video tadi tu uh, Kita tahu dia memang ghost hunter Dia cuba mencari sesuatu yang menakutkan Dan dikatakan memang tempat tu agak menakutkan lah. Tapi kalau kita tengok footage dia Tak, tak adalah banyak image-image yang aku rasa betul-betul menakutkan 
dan last yang tu kita nampak badan dia ada kesan cakaran mungkin boleh jadi cakaran daripada benda yang kita tak nampak atau boleh je jadi daripada dia orang sendiri sebab nak nak hypekan video dia orang kan so ada sebarang kemungkinan lah so aku tak sure tadi tu real atau fake tapi korang komen kat bawah ok kita go next video in red popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long and his friend Lao Dai are back with another live adventure in one of China's many creepy and mysteriously abandoned places this time they explore what they believe to have been a massive government building that might be haunted by a vengeful female spirit the creepy long dark hallways would give anyone major anxiety but Lao Dai doesn't seem to be bothered by any of it sticking his hands in places where they don't belong literally the video video shy long yeah, must be best guys kena perangkap tikus tu guys Lao Dai blindly sticks his hand into a bucket and startles Xiao Long as he clumsily pulls back with a mouse trap clamped onto his fingers Xiao Long simply laughs at him and the two friends carry on their investigation however this isn't the only time Lao Dai fools around in the dark Lao Dai attempts to scare Xiao Long uh, with a fart, but it doesn't work. But soon after, something terrifies them both. Lao Dai claims he heard something and at first Xiao Long just doesn't believe him. But then they both get startled by a loud sound coming from somewhere in the large empty building. Now, the two investigators are done with jokes, and they proceed with caution. When they reach a higher floor and enter one of the creepy empty rooms, things take a turn towards the truly chilling. Now there's nothing there, 
and he proved that it was not an optical illusion. Xiaolong and Lao Dai no longer feel that they are alone and begin to worry that they are possibly being stalked by the vengeful female spirit that is said to haunt the building, the Lady in Red. Only minutes later and the two ghost hunters get such a terrifying fright that they run for their lives. sounds coming from all around them, the two decide to split up and both record using their own phone. Lao Dai captures something so terrifying that he has had enough and wants to just get out of there. Once safely back in the car, Lao Dai shares his creepy footage with Xiao Long and the live stream audience. <laughs> spirit of a woman out for revenge? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch Xiao Long's entire exploration and many more creepy videos over on his YouTube channel, Xiao Long Adventure. 911. Okay guys, kita tahu video-video Xiao -video Long ni memang kebanyakan dia memang menyeramkan. Yang ini pun memang tak kurang menyeram tak kurang hebat lah agak menyeramkan juga cuma uh, somehow aku mula-mula rasa takut tapi bila last tadi bila dia tunjuk klip yang penampakan daripada telefon kawan dia tu ada makhluk yang pakai baju warna merah tu tu semacam macam edit pun ada kan so aku tak tahulah nak cakap video dia orang ni video betul ke video fake ke so sekarang ni kan macam-macam boleh buat kan so untuk yang video kali ni aku tak ada jawapan Korang komen kat bawah Kau rasa video tu fake ke Atau video real Kita go next video Okay TikTok user Brandy Nicole Works at the 911 Emergency Dispatch Center In Georgia She claims that Over the six years She has worked there Strange things Like unexplained noises And things falling off the walls Are a regular occurrence However recently The creepy activity Seems to have intensified For no apparent reason Brandy begins to secretly record her experiences and carefully shares her captures on TikTok. So I'm just sitting at work and I hear things fall in the lobby. Um, not sure. And the lights are off. They were on. Oh, and they're on now. Mm. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna gonna be done with that. Oh, mm -mm, nope, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Ah! Oh, what was that? So, I'm at work again. Told her that you know, because we're now referring to her. Oh, 
nobody. I don't, I don't know. Nobody should be here. <laughs> There's literally no one here. Now, it's common for 911 workers in smaller towns to work overnight shifts alone. And Brandy claims she is completely alone and has no explanation for any of the strange things happening on her job. So, since y'all thought I was doing the lights, let me show you these. This one does nothing. This one turns on this extra light. So... Then late one night, the strange activity at Brandy's job takes a terrifying turn. So, y'all have been following my Polter diaries here lately. Um, so I'm pretty sure there's something standing in the doorway to the break room. Am I crazy? Or is that somebody standing there? Um, I don't... Do y'all see that? <laughs> Guys, guys, uh, aku terkejut sampai hilang dah tadi video tadi tu. Appears to be the silhouette of someone's shoulder can be seen sticking out from a doorway. At first, Brandy's not quite sure what it is, but then when the mysterious silhouette moves away, Brandy screams. She explains in her comments that she called an officer to check the building. But he found no one inside and nothing that could explain the strange silhouette. Hey guys, this is just an update to let you all know that I'm okay. I'm back at work today, but I'm no longer working by myself. I have someone here with me. Everything's been fine so far. Um, we haven't had anything today, so... <laughs> and here we go. What was that? What? It came from the hallway. Oh my god. Uh, mm -mm, no. Oh my god. Uh. So is the 911 emergency dispatch center that Brandy works at haunted? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram right there if you want to. And also on Twitter, right there. You can find channel updates and some random weird videos on both. I'll see you all next week. Yes, guys, itu dia kita punya top 5 uh, video-video yang menyeramkan daripada Nook's Top 5. Kalau video daripada Nook's Top 5 ni memang tak pernah menghampakan. Memang banyak video yang menakutkan, guys. In fact, ada few video yang aku rasa memang betul-betul menakutkan kalau yang last tadi dia pasal seorang pekerja 911 uh, bertugas sendirian and then dia dengar macam-macam uh, bunyi yang yang pelik and then dia nampak satu image benda yang macam menjenguk so itu pun menakutkan guys tapi kita tak tahu kepastian adakah itu uh, video yang real atau fake uh, so itu aku tak sure tapi Ada beberapa uh, video yang menakutkan yang macam ada dua sahabat yang pergi ke apa farm dan dia ter uh, capture satu image yang ada macam makhluk lembaga sedang memerhatikan dia orang itu serius menakutkan. So untuk yang apa Lai Fong eh yang Chinese punya Ghost Hunter tu itu pun menakutkan cuma bila ending tu aku ada semacam curiga sikit aku mula syak boleh jadi video tu dia orang fake kan. So yes untuk kali ni kita dah saksikan video-video yang menyeramkan aku harap korang uh, enjoy dengan video kali ni aku harap korang uh, seronok dengan video react kali ni so yes, untuk korang yang dah tonton pada awal sampai habis, terima kasih banyak-banyak aku doakan korang supaya korang uh, dipanjangkan umur dimurahkan rezeki dan dipermudahkan segala urusan korang siapa yang belum subscribe, subscribe dulu guys tekan sekali butang notification tu and insyaAllah kita akan jumpa di next video so yes, korang jaga diri baik-baik stay safe dan kita
tidur baca doa guys ok alright Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera kepada korang yang menonton channel Andre Brothers korang semua memang awesome guys ok good night bye